Yo, what is happening out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have for you a brand new frozen money glitch brought to you by Fart Crew. All right, really, really cool glitch. Uh, let's get the founders out of the way. The founders are Vladdy Rad, Shift Zero, and Undead Ninja. All right, so shout out to those guys. Shout out to Fart Crew. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch, there are a few downsides, all right? I'll admit that right off the bat. Now, the biggest downside is you need Save Wizard, all right? It's a $60 software that you run on PC. So if you don't have any of that, you're already out of luck. Uh, I'll leave a link for those of you that are interested in purchasing Save Wizard. I'll leave a link down in the description for that. Now, I'm also going to leave a link to a modded save that we have provided for you to be able to do this glitch. So you're going to need the modded save, save wizard, a PS4 obviously only because this can only be done on PS4. And you need the amount of money for whatever you want to purchase in your bank. So for example, if you want a T20, then the T20 is 2.2 mil. You need at least $2.2 million, but you can buy as many as you want as long as you have the amount of money for at least one of them. Okay, so we're going to get started here with the glitch, and I'm going to show you everything from scratch, all right, like downloading the save and everything. So here we go. So this is me right here, and right now I am actually on, oh, and you need a USB as well, but right now I'm on PS4. You're going to go to Application Save Data Management and have your USB stick plugged in. And what you want to do is you want to actually do what I'm doing here on the screen. I'm just grabbing any one of my saves from GTA and I'm just putting it onto the USB. That's all I'm doing. So I'm just grabbing any one of my saves, throwing it on the USB. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and unplug your USB from the PS4 and plug it into your PC. So now we're on the PC and you want to go and click on that link that I left in the description that will lead you to our modded save. You want to go ahead and download it. Okay, it should be a Dropbox link just like this. You want to go ahead and just download this and I'm going to put it right here on my desktop just so it's nice and easy to get. And here we go. So here it is on the desktop. Now we need to overwrite our own save with this save. Okay, with the modded save so that we can actually play it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Save Wizard here. I'm going to click OK. And once it's done loading up the game saves, there we go. I'm going to double click this little arrow, right click this and hit advanced mode. Once you do this, just wait for it to load. It's going to it's going to open up the file so that you can modify the code. OK, so here we go. Now I'm going to just click this button right here to import file and I'm going to pick the file that I downloaded, the modded save that's on my desktop. I'm going to pick that one. And by double clicking it, you want to go ahead and just type the value zero, just type zero. And then you should get this option go ahead and press continue, apply and then yes. All right. Once you've done that, the modded save is now overriding your normal save. OK, and then you'll be able to use this. All right. So you just press OK and there we go. You can exit out of save wizard, disconnect your USB and we're going to go back over to the PS4 now. So that's pretty much the majority of the stuff you need to do for the modded save. That's how you overwrite your own. But now you need to actually put it into your PS4. So go to the same place settings, application, save data management, go to the save data on the USB drive, copy it to the system storage. Select the game, the save, hit copy, and yes. And there we go. All right, it is on our PS4. Go ahead and open up GTA so we can get started with the glitch. All right, that's the whole computer part of it. So it's really not that complicated whatsoever. So now we are loading into GTA, and we're probably going to load into whatever save we had before that, which is okay. What you want to go ahead and do right now is just press pause. Go to game, go to load game, and I actually wrote it over, you see, Hotel Assassination. So that's the one I'm going to load up. I'm going to load up my Hotel Assassination because that's where I overwrote, uh, you know, uh, I, that's the modded save that I overwrote on that one. Okay, so now that we're over here on our modded save that we supplied, you are Franklin, you'll spawn here at the impound every time. Just press pause and you want to go ahead and go over to online and make sure you select solo session. Play GTA Online and go to solo session. Now, the reason we're picking solo session, if you use the other ones, there's a very big possibility that none of your cars will spawn online. And then if you start ordering new cards, you could overwrite them. So that's why we launch a solo session. Make sure that, you know, none of that weird stuff with the cars is happening. OK, so now that we are finally online, here we go. We're online. And now all I'm going to do now is go ahead and hold down on the D-pad, flip over to Michael and then select OK, accept the alert. And now we're going to go back to story mode. All right, so headed back to story mode now. 
this is where everything starts getting a little bit spicy. So this is where you're going to see all the crazy stuff. So you could spawn on the water. This is Patricia, by the way. Say hi. So <laughs> you could spawn on the water. You could spawn on flat ground, you know, on land. It's It doesn't really matter. But what happens is you're going to see Patricia for a second, and then you're going to spawn as Franklin. In my case, I need to swim. But if you're on ground, just run away a little bit. I'd say run like maybe 20, 30 feet away. And then you want to start headed back. And you'll see Patricia, okay? You'll actually see Patricia. So you see her right there? She's swimming away. That's all good. So if you're on flat ground, make sure, you know, you just run away, turn back around. You should see Patricia. They're going to start talking a little bit because it's actually Michael. And then flip over to Michael, and then you should be Patricia. So there we go. All right? I am Patricia. Now is when you want to go ahead and just chill out here for a second uh, and go ahead and actually launch the, well, not launch, but you want to input the code for a buzzard okay i'm gonna leave the uh, code for ps4 down in the description as well to spawn a buzzard in story mode but yeah you want to spawn a buzzard and then we're gonna head over to mount chiliad because we need to go to that peyote okay we need to go eat that peyote on top of mount chiliad and i'm gonna show you the exact location so that you guys know where you need to fly to but uh yeah here it is right here the peyote is right over here by these two logs that have these flags on them uh this is the exact location Okay, so once we've spawned or once we've gotten over to this area, press right D-pad while you're hovering over the peyote and then you'll proceed to start eating it. And we're going to enter the hallucination right here. So once you've entered the hallucination, you can pretty much as, f as quick as you can if you want to, you can just start ending it. Okay, we don't need to stay in it for any certain amount of time. Just hold right D-pad and that will end the hallucination. Now, it's not going to fully end it. You're actually going to get stuck on this screen right here. So it's like this, you're stuck on the end hallucination. So you kind of glitched. What you do from here is you just press pause and we're going to go into an invite only session. All right. So from here, like I said, press pause, go to online, play GTA online and invite only session. And we're going to start spawning in. And this is where we actually get the frozen money right here. OK, so I'm going to fast forward to me actually spawning in and here we go we are moving we're moving and we are in here so if you want to go ahead and check that you have frozen money easiest way to do it is to open up your interaction menu and go to the inventory and buy some ammo and that's a quick and easy way to check if you actually have frozen money so check it out i'm gonna go ahead and start buying a few you know things of ammo here for my pistol and nothing's been subtracted from my bank account which tells me the glitch worked i have frozen money i brought it online you have a normal phone you can go ahead and open up your phone and you can simply just go and buy whatever you want to buy so deluxo sell for the most so i'm going to go ahead and sell deluxos as you can see they cost four point or i'm going to buy deluxo sorry they cost 4.7 million which means i need at least 4.7 million in my bank account to be able to buy them okay if you have the amount for one you can buy as many as you want let's put it that way so deluxos will sell for the most i recommend buying those filling up your garages with deluxos once you have fully filled up your garages, I think I bought about 20 right here and I put them in inside my nightclub garage. You want to wait for everything to get delivered. Wait for everything you ordered to go ahead and get delivered. Once that's happened, you can just press pause and leave GTA online. Okay? Simple as that. Now we need to save everything. Okay? So for those of you that have done the DM glitch, the trailer glitch, and you've brought modded outfits online with Save Wizard, you will know what to do here, okay? Now, this is a weird little thing that can happen first. Before we launch DM, if you open up your interaction menu and you see this, okay, where it says you're in the middle of a cutscene and you can't launch DM, that's a problem, but it's easy to fix. Just go ahead and input the cheat for getting cops and you need to get wasted. I mean, if you find another way to get wasted, go ahead, but input the cheats for cops and uh, let them kill you. And once they've done that, that's what I did here. And you see, once I've done, once they did that and they actually took me out, I can open up my interaction menu and I can launch DM. All right. If you're able to launch DM from the start, right there from going into story, go ahead and do that. But I wanted to include that for those of you that might have problems with that little, you know, issue. Happened to me a few times while doing this glitch, so I wanted to add that. So now that we're in the DM trailer, you want to go ahead and go to Actors, Animals, and hover over the Chicken Hawk and select it to go into DM. Okay, so as if you guys have done DM trailer outfits, you kind of know where this is going. We are getting ready to basically kill the bird. Okay, we got to get the wasted thing. So you guys should know this. Um, it's cool because most of the people that have done this have Save Wizard. So this is right in your ballpark. So what I like to do, you will spawn up there in the clouds like that. You know really really high up i like to just change the time of day and make it clear you know midday clear and then go ahead and just kill myself so that i can launch in there really quickly and i can start teleporting to where i need to teleport because when you're in the air it doesn't let you teleport in dm so right here i'm gonna press pause and i'm gonna go over to an area this is actually my favorite area to kill the bird at 
This is the little, you know, reservoir area right there at the facility. The water is super calm here. You don't have to worry about waves, so weird timings with quitting director mode. This is my favorite spot. So what I like to do first is actually just fly the bird into the water, all right? I learned this by, you know, a few other uh, people doing this glitch, and it really does help. So once I've killed the bird once, I'm going to go ahead and get a recent activity ready to hit start GT online. I'm going to double tap to go back to DM, and we should be spawning over at the trailer. I'm just going to select the chicken hawk, and we will actually be spawning right back at that same spot where we died at, at the reservoir. Okay, the uh, time of day is perfect. I like to kind of set up everything, you know, so it's nice and easy. And check it out, I actually did hit it on my first try. So I'm going to fly over here and I'm going to open up my interaction menu and hover over quit director mode. Okay, I changed my view and everything. Hover over quit director mode. You're going to fly down and right before you hit the water, you're going to double tap on X and then hurry up and double tap the PS button, start GTA Online and decline the alert. If you've done that correctly, then you will get the wasted sign. Okay, and you need to keep doing this until you get the wasted sign. It's weird on timing if you've never done it. But those of you that are DM trailer addicts, you guys know exactly how to do this perfectly fine there's plenty of tutorials showing how to kill the bird on youtube as well so if you get stuck on a black screen like here like most of us pretty much do you're gonna need to bring up that recent again and decline it sometimes the bird will be dead on the ground or sometimes it'll just be normal either way once you're able to open up your interaction menu just go ahead and launch dm again we should spawn into the trailer and at this point this is where you want to uh, choose a different character so go ahead and Go to actors, go to online characters, and just hover over your online character. Don't, a, don't actually like select them. Just hover over your online character, back out, back out, and then go to exit to story mode. Now we should actually go into story mode with our online character. That's what you want to see, okay? Just like this, all right? So it's kind of like bringing an outfit on. Now just go to online, go to play, or sorry, go to creator. Yeah, if you, I tried just hitting play invite only session, and it, it pretty much like does some weird thing with the Rockstar files. So hit creator, it should load you into a public session, and if you want to check, your money should be unglitched. Your money should be completely unfrozen at this point. Uh, I didn't check right here. There was no need. I knew it worked. But yeah, if you want to check just for security purposes, yeah, just go ahead and make sure that your money is unfrozen. And we're going to proceed to saving the vehicles. So if you've ever done a frozen money glitch before, you know that to actually save vehicles, you want to go ahead and, uh, and actually just swap them around. Okay, so just make sure you swap them around. And that's pretty much it to get them to save, honestly. Just you're gonna see how I do it right here in case you don't know. So go ahead and go to the blue circle, select the first car and swap it into the second spot and just move that same first car into every single spot. That seems to be the easiest way for me to do it. Just move the first car on into every single next spot, okay? Right back to its original. And that's what you wanna do for every single car you purchase. So if you filled up every garage with Deluxos, you need to swap around every single Deluxo, okay? And that's what I'm doing right now. I bought them for B3, I believe. And now I'm going to head over to B4 and do the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to go over here. I'm loading into B4. I'm actually surprised on loading times. They're actually not too bad with the nightclub. Sometimes in public sessions, loading in or out of the main part of the nightclub is a little bit of a pain. But yeah, it's not too bad. They did pretty good with this. So I'm swapping around the last set of cars I have here. It's these 10. I bought 20 in total. So here we go i'm swapping around first car into every single slot and right back into its original and now that's pretty much it you just want to make sure that the game has been able to you know recognize what you've done i like to just exit out of you know whatever interior you're in open up your interaction menu select style and click on your outfit or buy some ammo something like that anything that can trigger a game save you're going to see in the bottom right i'm going to get the little quick save icon there we go once i've gotten that i'm going to press online and just head over to creator okay so i'm going to head over to creator and i should be at the creator menu once i'm at that point you can simply just press up on the d-pad once to go back into story so you're going to see right here i am spawning in there we go all right spawning in go ahead and exit to gta 5 just regular story mode make sure you don't go online just go back to story this is pretty much your fail safe this is how you check to make sure everything did stick uh, if you're able to go to story and come back online, that's how you know you're good to go. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and from story, just head right back into an invite only session. Everything should be unglitched. We already unglitched everything when we killed the bird and all that stuff. So we're headed back online and this is pretty much the end of it. You just want to check to make sure that everything has stuck. Uh, cars, you need to switch around. Pegasus vehicles, I've heard different things to get those to save. Uh, basically, from what it seems like, you need to modify something or switch it around or drive it out and in, call it out, blow it up. You got to do weird things to get stuff to save. But as you can see, those are all of my different cars. That's everything I've gotten to save. Okay, and it all worked perfectly fine. 
So that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm going to leave a link down in the description as well to the thread and some more tips and things that can possibly happen to you uh, and fixes, okay? Just to make sure everybody that is able to do this glitch can get it done, you know, quickly and efficiently, all right, and, and correctly. So once again, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Shout out to the founder. Shout out to Far Crew. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.